Hello, Samolings. Uh, we are going to do another episode of first impression review. That one, pretty much a first impression review of Reply, the new episode 2. It's a LinkedIn out, uh, code outreach tool uh, with um, uh, an email feature like that you can find contacts as find that lead, for example, but Seco for LinkedIn. So, um, did you have several limitations, but the tool is established. They are here for more than five years and it works well. So since it's a cold, um, cold mail to you and it's rare, uh, you get like one or two from Epsomo per year. Uh, you can get it for only for, for $9 one time purchase. So it can fit maybe to your use case. You get only one user and 500 recipients per month. Those 500 recipients per month, they are not uh, the number of emails you can send. You can send unlimited emails per month, but you are limited to 500 people per month. And to thousand email search per month with one email address. Those email searches is for you to find the emails that you're going to use to reply. You can also import CSV and you can, you can like use another tool to get emails or use your um, personal list to call the mail outreach, uh, but you get 2000 uh, LinkedIn email search per month. Okay, uh, and for the apps module, you only get the peer integration. I'm gonna show you now the tool. Um, they have features from a previous tool called Outplay that people loved. So you may, if you don't have Outplay, it may be the case to buy that tool too. And you can see that they have more than 300 reviews, almost 400 reviews uh, with, um, 4.7 rating um, and like famous tools use them. So uh, you're going to discover the email using Google Chrome. I can't show you like um, the Google Chrome because um, extension because I'm going to show private data from, from people. So it's not good as a, a private measure, private measure. So, and then you get the emails and then you're going to engage to those leads. I'm going to show you send an email, use the, their templates. Um, so, uh, let's, let's show, I'm going to show you the tool from inside. So let me show you first what you're not going to get. You're not going to get their email verification, um, email validation tool. So if you want to validate the email or um, if you want to check if the email exists or not, if they are valid or not, uh, you need to use another tool or pay them monthly. And you have only one user and you can send um, emails to up to 500 contacts. Unlimited email, but 500 people per month. You're not, not going to get the team dashboard because it's a one user deal. Okay. And you're not going to get the integrations. You only can use Zapier. Okay. You can, you can even check the upgrade. Um, you need to upgrade to set the integration dashboard. Right. So what's cool here is that you get several templates specific to LinkedIn use case. Okay. So they have a library here with different, um, use case. So let's check that sports fans use case. You can you see here? So you got um, templates that you can use that um, it has a proven results and you were likely to get a response. So and like with the also with uh, the email subject line. And when you are you, you, if you're going to use a template or if you're going to you, to write your own email, um, you can see here, there are the variables that you can use with the emails you got. So, uh, 
And when you get emails from LinkedIn, those kind of things, company, first name, last name, title, everything will come from their email extraction tool, all right? So when you, you just click on the Google Chrome extension and they're gonna get the email. It's just like one click and you get the email, a book email uh, search, if you use the search feature of LinkedIn or um, a personal one email. Not only the email as fine let, that lead, you're gonna get all the variables. So that's important to say. Okay, so then you can personalize your your email. That that's kind of cool. Did you get it? You got gonna you're gonna get all the variables with the Google Extreme, ex, uh, extension. First, last name, title, company, email. Okay, and here they have um, um, a tool to improve your email um, um, your email copywriting. That, that's valuable, okay? Uh, Mailshake doesn't have that. I think Mailshake has that, but Lemlist doesn't have that. So uh, you're gonna write the email and they're gonna word count, uh, check if your subject line is optimized, uh, if you have questions optimi um, optimized, reading level, positivity, so spam word control. So you're gonna see if your email is well written or not using the tool, all right? And they don't have only code mail out read, but you can create a whole sequence, okay? As you can see here, you can uh, put here a new task. So I'm gonna call to my manager, I don't know. And I'm gonna use that task on your sequence, okay? On your sequence, when you create your workflow, like um, like um, previous episode material called, called Outplay. So here you create your sequence and you can create from a template, okay? You don't get team templates, only uh, reply templates. So let's say you can um, educate your customers, okay, All right? And here uh, there are templates, okay? With several emails and steps, okay? And you can automate replies from your LinkedIn prospectors. And as you can see here, you can add steps related to call people. So I'm gonna call your prospects like a um, outplay, and you're gonna create tasks, things, things that you need to do between one email and another, okay? Um, you can send a message via LinkedIn using the tool and book a meeting, um, send a manual uh, Facebook or social message. So you're gonna create your sequence with, uh, um, um, respecting your use case, so your use case. So like outplay, all right? So that's like the whole first impression through um, reply dashboards, it's established tool. I think it's valuable, one code for $9, a code automate, um, code um, email tool with email extractions plus uh, sequences like outplay. I think it's it's worth it, but they have several limitations. You don't get the integrations. I don't know why, but you don't. Okay, so if you're not gonna get the deal, please, please, please click on my link to help me keep going.